Step one, open a brokerage account with Charles Schwab and deposit money. Step number two, download their active trade software, Thinkorswim. There will be links to both sites in the description. Step number three, log into Thinkorswim using the ID and password that you set up earlier on your brokerage account. You are, of course, going to want to make sure you are logging into your live trading. I'm going to click into the paper money tab here, though, because I'm going to reset all my screens to default. And I, of course, don't want to do that in my actual account. This then is going to bring us to Thinkorswim secret number one. If you click into this cog here on the login modal, you're going to want to make sure that your min and max memory usage is raised from the default lowest setting. This is going to allow your Thinkorswim to run much smoother. And how you should test this, open your task manager and ensure that your Thinkorswim is running at a comfortable rate for your computer while using the maximum amount of memory. You are now logged in to Thinkorswim. This is the screen you will be brought to. You will not see the simulated trading in the top left. As for mentioned, I reset my entire workspace to default, and I don't want to do that to my real trading account, of course, so I'm in the simulated trading. So other than this yellow border, this is the screen you'll be on, which brings us to step number four. You're going to click on charts here. Um, you can use either of these. I prefer to use this, uh, this simple chart over here, and then you're going to type in whichever symbol you would like to buy. Do you want to buy shares of NVIDIA, Amazon, Ford, an S&P 500 ETF, whatever stock you would like to buy, type in the symbol there. Think or swim secret number two. Before we actually start taking trades, I want you to be set up with real-time data, which unfortunately you are not by default on first install. You're just going to click on setup in the top right here application settings you're going to come into system i believe it is yes and you're going to make sure this quote speed is set to real time no delay by default you will be on this moderate with a three second delay not what you want make sure that's set to real time no delay step number five now we get to the actual purchasing of the stock you are set up with charles schwab you are logged into thinkorswim it's running smoothly because you've allocated your memory correctly you have set up the application to be on real time data you have the ticker typed in that you would like to buy let's go buy it now there is a handful of different ways you can go about buying a stock within thinkorswim and when coming up with the script for this video i initially was going to cover all of those ways but realistically there's one best way to do it and there's a very very rare occasions why you would ever not just use this way so let's just cover the best way to buy stock shall we i'm gonna open this active trader right tab here which is going to open for lack of a better term, the active trader window. This is going to give you big buttons up here that you can use to trade. You can also expand this out to see the uh, second line, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And it's also down here giving you a price ladder. You can see the current price that the ticker obviously is trading at, the size of the bid versus the size of the ask at that price, the volume at each price level. All very useful information, but obviously the most useful is this functionality right here. If you would like to just market order, which means no matter what size of the ask is, it's just going to fill your shares. All you do is hit this buy market. It's going to pop up a confirmation window in which you would hit send. I'm in paper trading, so it's a little slow and you're going to see a little bit of weird pricing because I'm on 15 minute delayed data, but I have just bought a stock. Let's cover a couple of more quick tips in the active trade window because that's probably not the exact best way to do it. So let's set up the active trade window just a little bit better for the final step. Think or swim secret number three. If you're brand new to think or swim, you're going to want to take advantage of daytradingstrategies.net. This is a website where I publish all of my custom coded strategies, stock scanners, custom indicators. There's over 50 different thinkorswim codes that you can easily import into your system, all available for only $25. I understand that I'm biased, but it's a ridiculous deal. And if you use discount code trading at sign up right now, I'll even give you a little bit more off. So click the link at the top of the description, go sign up. 
and become a better trader today. Step number six, let's do some cleanup. Now, if you're just looking to utilize Thinkorswim to buy very large cap stocks for investment purposes, you could probably just use buy and sell market. It's probably fine. But if you want to do a lot more active trading, especially lower float stock trading, you probably want more functionality than just the market orders. If you click on this cog here, it's going to give you a list of buttons in which you can search for buy and you can search for sell. And these, of course, bring up the option to buy or sell either the ask or the bid. So you can decide at what price you want to purchase at rather than just slamming the market orders. And all you do, if you just double click on these, they're going to be uh, put into the bottom and then you can just drag them up. You can drag them to wherever you want them to be to set it up to look however you would like. All that is fully customizable. Next, also, if you're going to do a lot more active trading, you probably don't want, if I go to sell this, you probably don't want this little pop-up window coming up every single time if you're going to be doing a lot more fast action trading, right? So to fix that, all you do is check this uh, auto send box here. Now, if I hit sell, it should just immediately sell without having to pop up the confirmation window as well. That's how you buy and sell stocks on Thinkorswim. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. 